We gotta focus daily. Mind stay keep me devoted. Train the thought like a locomotive. I got tunnel vision, I am very focused. Run you over and I never notice. Get it in and I'm in tune. I'm fully focused and I improve. Got determination that I include. Fire within me is infused. Keep it a hundred, we've been true. Moving so amazing with the motivation. Cut through the drama like a Ginsu. Hot boy, but I've been cool. First you get ready to mend too. That part is very essential. That part is very essential. Excited there in the Blitz Lounge. We're excited to hear welcome one and all to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I am Lance Smith and in for Eddie George, the one and only Mark Mariani is here. Hello, hello. The specialist. We called in the specialist. That's right. Yes. Bring in the righty from the bullpen. That's the lefty. <laughs> How you doing, man? Oh my gosh. Life is good. The holiday yeah. season's been great. Santa Claus was very gracious to me and my family, so. No coal. Very blessed. Uh, no coal this year. I got a, um, a new driver that I'll be testing out, so that Ooh. might turn into a broken piece of metal here soon. <laughs> but other, uh, other than that, uh, life is good. Very nice, very nice. Well, yeah. uh, I, I'm glad your family's well, and your, your little man, we, uh, we miss right. the guy. He's getting big. I know, he's growing so fast, like a weed. Uh, thanks for coming in, man. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. We, we, we got to talk about this show. Let's, uh, let's kick off this show and hey uh just so you know i want to put this out there this is new today this is something very cool from the team uh the tennessee titans this coming game sunday will be sporting this decal on their helmet 615 strong and you notice the six there highlighted in blue that is a tip of the cap to the six officers who saved lives by evacuating people downtown second avenue saving lives so you can donate to this fund uh, tennesseetitans.com 615 strong and that money will go directly to those uh, impacted and affected by the bombing uh, downtown but hats off to those officers that saved their lives uh, so anyway the titans get involved with that and i love they're wearing their decal on their helmet Sunday. It's awesome. A lot of heavy hearts, but the city, uh, you know, has overcome a lot. And one more thing, little adversity never hurt us, and we are going to be Nashville strong. 2020s hit uh, hit Nashville and Tennessee pretty tough. But hey, we're into the year. We're getting through this, and we That's got right. a big game coming up, which we'll talk about in a little while. But right now, let's do a four downs with Mark, presented by Corson Fire and Security. Yes, we have to talk about this Packers game. <laughs> Just for a few more minutes, and then we're going to forget about it. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. First down. Uh, first down. Slow start. And this is something that Tannehill talks about a lot that we got to come out with some energy, which we didn't in this game. Hey, listen, I don't know. There was a lot of talk going into it, but I just don't think we were ready for the cold and the snow. They come out, they put up 19 straight points on us, uh, and we, we didn't get it going here. We turned the ball over. Uh, so, yeah, it was a slow start. We got ourselves in a hole, yeah. tried to come back out of it. But once you get in a, in a, into a hole like that, it kind of throws you off your entire game plan. You know, Tannehill never got going, and the run game never got going as well. So uh, that first few minutes is vitally important, especially for uh, – this Tennessee Titans football team. Yeah, now talk to me as a, as a football player and playing in weather like that. You know, we, we get excited. Everybody talks about, oh, a snow game, and it's going to be <laughs> like we're good. I mean, you're from way up there. You're from the North yeah. Pole. Well, yeah, Montana, well, pretty close. Thing. Yeah, that's uh, pretty close. <laughs> How uh, hard is it to get going in those temperatures? You know, it's very difficult, and, and it is a mental thing, but it's also one of those things where, you know, you can tell yourself all these things, but once that snow hits those cleats, you know, it slows the game down a little bit. You'd be a little less physical. It's and, and, and everything else kind of piles up. And uh, we weren't really ready for it, but maybe we'll see snow again here in the AFC playoffs and we'll be ready next time. A lot of, a lot of cold teams uh, in the AFC uh, that are leading their divisions. All right, moving down to second down. Uh, if you've destroyed your television and got another <laughs> one you're watching on your second screen, I don't blame you. There were some tough calls that were hard to stomach. Joshua Kalu was not offsides. Hey, we got ourselves in a hole. We're trying to climb back, trying to climb out of it, and then boom. They call this offsides penalty on a field goal, give them the ball back, they go score. Um, and you'll see Aaron Jones later in the highlight, clearly out of bounds. And so, you know, again, when you're, when you're just trying to fight and scratch and claw against the number one seed in the NFC, right. um, it's just, it's tough when you got the guys in stripes also, <laughs> throw, you know, throwing more weight on your shoulder. So this was a bummer. Uh, and the next one we'll see was a bummer as well. Uh, all little things that added up against us on Sunday at Lambeau Field. Well, I was going to ask you that. I mean, do those little things add up mentally when you know that 
you know, how, I mean, how often do you hold it? This is the out of bounds run, right? About, hey, ref, your eyes watching his feet and his foot is on the line. Yeah, that's well, your call right there. Well, at this point in the game, we had just gotten this thing to a one-score game. It was 19-14. Uh, they had just gotten the ball back. So we, it was a critical time for our it defense was. to get a stop. And, uh, you know, he, he, they, were, they were marching, maybe get points out of that. But, you know, they got 20 or 30 more yards because of that call. So, again, we put ourselves in a bad situation, and then those little mistakes added up. And yeah. so the outcome was what it was, a 26-point deficit. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Moving on to third down, I promise this won't last long. Uh, <laughs> but, look, the, the lackluster defense was there. We said going into the game. 40 might be the magic number, and it most definitely was. Uh, our secondary was getting carved. Now, look, this is Aaron Rodgers we're talking about. I mean, he's potentially going to be the league MVP, and he looked like it. Yeah, I mean, I think it was just a little bit too easy for him out there on Sunday. There was a lot of guys running wide open, a lot of run after the catch. Um, and so I would have liked to see it make it more challenging. The Titans defense make it more challenging for him. A.J. Dillon comes in and runs the ball for 128 yards. I mean, they did to us what we usually do to teams, which is Correct. efficiency on offense and then ground and pound you into submission uh, and run the clock out. And so we got a little taste of our own medicine. It wasn't too fun. Again, let's have a short memory here, right. move on, because you know we'll get another chance at these guys, hopefully, and it'll be in Tampa Bay. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, I want to play them again when it's warm uh, down in Florida. <laughs> That's right. Uh, at the end of the year, last game of the season, final winners. Uh, moving on, like you said, with that, though, fourth down, even with all of that bad that we just talked about, That's and right. thank God we're done talking about it, all is not lost because it doesn't matter. It didn't matter ultimately because the game this Sunday is all about winning the division. That's right. Something we haven't done since 2008. What? We get to go to Houston uh, with a chance to, to go to the playoffs, obviously, but also win the division. Um, be a three or four seed in, in the AFC playoffs. And so, you know, we, we have a ton at stake here in this game. We ended the season here last year, and, and Derrick Henry set the season uh, rushing record or, or uh, was the was the well, it's back to champion. back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And back to back. And that hasn't been done since LT did it in 06 07. That's right. It was a big time, you know, pro football Hall of Famer. <laughs> so. a, lot, a lot at stake at this game. All is not lost at Lambeau. So, again, pack our bags, get our. our our identity back and go take care of business in Houston. Did you ever have a loss like that, though, in any game, at any level, that you learned more from, though? Well, I think you just take it like this. An NFC opponent at Lambeau Field in the snow, we weren't ready. They were more physical. They were faster than us. And you watch the film, you grade it out, and then you forget about mm -hmm. it because it doesn't hurt you. And you got to have full 100% focus on the Houston Texans and Deshaun, Watch, uh, Deshaun, Deshaun Watson uh, this Sunday because uh, this is the most pivotal point it's, in the entire season it's the season it's the yeah. game it's gonna oh, i'm excited i, I can't wait it's a, <laughs> not even a playoff game but it is a playoff game hey you know uh, 15 minutes can save you 15 percent or more on your car insurance with that we'll go to break with our geico fast 15 stick around titans blitz we'll be right back <laughs> Under pressure, rolling to his right, fires down the middle, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Butler. Play fake, Tannehill keeping. A lot of room, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, end zone. Touchdown, Titans, finger roll. He needs two yards to keep this game moving on. You see what you're made of when you go through something tough. Steady rainfall. And yeah, it's been a tough year. But Tennesseans are built for this. Grit passed down through generations. We look for it. We like it that way. Wow. How did he do it? Touchdown! Tough. Tennessee tough. All right. Blitz Lounge, look at them. Oh, got some new new Titans members up in there. Look at that. Hey, welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I am Lance Smith. This is Mark Mariani, and it is halftime here on the show. And, uh, you know, one of the coolest things about working with the Tennessee Titans is like, yeah, I get a cool seat to watch the games, and I bleed two-tone blue. Uh, but I love working with this team uh, that is so heavily involved in community. Heavily involved in the community, completely dedicated. Uh, and I get to do very cool things sometimes that are off the gridiron. In fact, check this out. We are on our way up to talk with Karen Amos, who's a huge Titans fan. And, you know, hey, we've all had a tough year. 
she's had a tough year. We want to make her year end on a really bright note. Check this out. Karen Amos, how are you doing? I'm good. Yeah? I'm good, yes. A little cold out here. It's a little cold. I brought T-Rack with me. Hey. <laughs> Give me a fist bump, that's what we gotta do in time of COVID. Yes, yes. I know you're a huge fan. I am. So we wanted to come by and celebrate all of our Titans fans, especially those with the YMCA. Uh, thank you for all that you do over there and all that you do in the community. Thank you. On behalf of the Titans, I think you would look good in this updated version. Yes! With your name on the back. <laughs> <laughs> there you thank go. You. Yes! Oh How about gosh. that? This feels a little a little empty. Let's let's add to this. Tina, Tina, Tina's got something for you here. Let's bring this on in. Oh, wow. You want to take a look at the front of this. Karen, from the Tennessee Titans, we present this check to you for $5,000. That's a, that's a oh comma. God, that is a comma. <laughs> Why was Karen oh my, oh, such a good you. choice for this random act of kindness? So one, she has a big heart. Um, Karen has been a part of our staff team for the last few years and she just cares so much about people and she embodies everything that the YMCA stands for. And I know that she has gone through some things over the last couple of years and if anyone deserves this, it's Miss Karen, because her heart is just... Oh, thank you so much. So big. You're so much. Thank you. <laughs> Jahari, thank you so much for setting this up. Uh, it, it means the world to us. Obviously, it means the world to Karen. On behalf of the Titans NFL Volunteerism Grant, uh, we have a little something extra to share that you didn't know about, Jahari. No, I'm like, Tina and Josh. This oh, goes for God. the YMCA. We're going to make things... Oh, wow. Just a little bit better there, a little bit more comfortable. How about that? Oh, wow. Well, thank you to the, the Northwest YMCA is obviously doing a lot in the community. Thank you for setting this up. Thank really you. appreciate it. This means it. so much. The Titans have done so much for our center, and the Northwest Y is just such an amazing pillar in the community, and we're just thankful for you all for just believing in the work that we do and how we do it. So from the bottom of our hearts and from our community. Thank you. This is a big win. Very, very cool. Wow, Thanks man. to uh, Pinnacle for making that happen, that random act of kindness. That it, 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 I don't get anything out of that, but just the joy of seeing that in person, and that is amazing. When you were playing for the team, did you have moments where you got to do – Cool stuff in the community like that yeah the titans organization is awesome about going out in the community and helping as many people as they can my me personally i got to do a ton of fuel up to play 60 events mm -hmm. which were all about the kids yeah. so i used to go out to all the schools in middle tennessee we used to get to go play talk about nutrition being active gave me a chance to be face to face with those kids and that's what i love the most and, and you're right you don't get much out of it but those smiles are all it's worth but man. that's what i'm it's, saying you get you get so much in, and, and, so and just good. by witnessing that and kids look at you like a superhero oh my gosh and that reaction uh, that she just had Miss Karen right there, yeah. I mean, that's what it's all about. It makes me a little emotional. It's very cool stuff, especially in the holiday giving, yes, giving spirit. Yes, Season of giving. All right. Season well, uh, it's about the season of getting. Talking about the playoffs coming up. we got to talk about this game against the Texans. On the other side, stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. Go. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Mark back with you. It is the two-minute warning here on the show. We happen to have the final game of the regular season on the road in Houston. And it's for all the marbles of the all AFC marbles. South. The AFC South marbles. Um, so let's break it down. This game, I mean, first of all, they're playing. I mean, the Texans are playing. Deshaun yeah. Watson is playing. They're going at us. Uh, first key here, play Titan football. That's right. I mean, we're, that's pretty broad. But. We know our identity. We're physical. We're an explosive offense. we got to get that ground game going yeah. and let Tannehill throw the ball down the field to our playmakers, A.J. Brown, Corey Davis, get yeah. loose after the catch, do what we do, uh, get settled back in. Like we said, after a snowy day in Lambeau, get over to Houston, fast, tur fast surface, yeah. and go make some plays. Put your, uh, put your Vrabel hat on. We notoriously never win the coin toss. I mean, I think we won maybe two this whole season. Yeah. Uh, you, you win it, and it's very in vogue to defer to the second half. 
Yeah. I Pop want pillars. it right. Trendy. I want the ball. <laughs> we have a, you know, top three scoring offense in the league. Why not give the ball to the boys? Uh, yeah. Let them march down the field and put up a touchdown to start the game. I like, I like that this, this week. I like taking the momentum and, and really just punching the Texans in the mouth yeah. from the opening whistle and send the message right, right out the gate. And, you know, we're built in such a way we can obviously run the ball. We have the best runner in the, uh, in the NFL, uh, back-to-back uh, league rushing titles. But there's a thing about you, you run to set up the pass, but I just think that we're built to pass to set up the run. I mean, I want to I throw early. Is that Am I wrong in thinking that? I like it. I, I think this, mo- this offense is most dangerous um, when we're balanced, when, you, when we keep you on your toes, when you have no idea what's coming at you. Yeah. Uh, you think Derrick Henry is going to you know, get 30 carries, and then Tannehill's throwing the ball over your head. Yeah. Uh, so our balanced attack uh, has been working for us, and, and Arthur Smith has been doing a great job of keeping these defenses on their toes. That's true. I used to be able to sit on my couch and call every offensive play call before <laughs> right. Art Smith came along. So, yeah, I like what he's uh, definitely doing there. All right, moving on to uh, the second point here. Look, Deshaun Watson, as we said, is playing ball. I mean, you would think the, their biggest star, Benchin, they've got nothing to play for, but this is a divisional game. Romeo Cornell says, no, they're, it's like playing your brother. We're playing football. Uh, but you got to neutralize a guy like that. How do you do that? That's right. <laughs> Scrap the record books. And also, when this guy is on the football field, you got to bring your A game. He can beat you in any way possible. He's running the ball here. He can throw the ball. He lights it up. He's going to the Pro Bowl again. He's one of the best quarterbacks in this league. He can single-handedly beat you. So I just think it's an 11-man defense. you you got to keep him in the pocket, take away his legs, make him throw the ball. Um, and then he's got, he's got the ground game this year, too, with David Johnson running downhill. Uh, you know, the big trade in the offseason, which we won't, we, we won't discuss tonight. But David Johnson here has been... <laughs> You know, the second half of the season, he's been running downhill. Uh, so this combination is a formula for a very high, uh, you know, high-scoring offense, a very potent offense. So our defense has to be ready to rock and roll. Absolutely. I mean, we played this uh, team to, to free football at the extra in overtime last time we played them. Uh, it wasn't yep. an easy game. That's right. Uh, and it's not going to be an easy game now, even though, you know, we think we obviously we have the momentum and we have – everything to play for and they do not it's going to be a tough football game uh an interesting stat though i like this here uh the texans are two and seven in one score games this year last year they were eight and three so they don't win the close ones i think we do anyway we got more to talk about on the other side stick around titans blitz we'll be right back They're loud in the Blitz Lounge. What's going on? Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Mark back with you. It is overtime here on the show. And, uh, hey, our year is wrapping up. This is the last Titans Blitz of the year. Not the season. Because see, we win the game. We come back. Last <laughs> Titans Blitz of 2020. Um, end of the year. So we put this out on uh, Titans Twitter to, uh, to see what folks were seeing, saying about their, uh, their resolution. So I specifically was asking... What is your Titans resolution? Not just your New Year's resolution. What's your Titans resolution for 2021? So let's roll it. Let's get to it, Mark, and see what the people said. Uh, let's take a look at this first one. Uh, see, uh, Mike said, I resolved to hate the Colts even more in 2021. <laughs> Very nice. Nice. Uh, Stephanie said, my 2021 Titans resolution is that I will not overreact during the first preseason game. <laughs> nice. Stephanie, let's hope there is a first preseason game. All right. Uh, Donna said, I will never take for granted a... <laughs> Third down stop again. Nice. Yeah. Neither will I. Yeah. Donna. No, you're right, Donna. <laughs> Jim. Our buddy Jim said, uh, I resolve not to second guess our coaches. That's where they get paid, and I sit in the stadium. Very nice, Jim. I, I agree. Kate, uh, I resolve to put positive vibes only into the Titans universe. I will remember that games are four quarters long instead of panicking in the first half. It's a very Titans thing, Kate. It's okay. <laughs> also consider closing Twitter when things aren't going so well. I think that's great. You should probably close Twitter when things aren't going so well overall. Uh, Mark Mariani, it's good yes. to have you back on the show. Resolution for 2021? It's good to see you. I got, a, I got a personal resolution. I'm trying to get back into my playing shape. You're going to see me rocky and in the gym. Yeah? I got to stay ready in case J-Rob calls me on a last-minute notice in case they need a kicker or a punter or it something could. like that. Yes, you hear it? He's That's ready. Right. And my like Titans resolution shape. is this. I demand a pass rush in 2021, and that includes... The playoffs. Let's go. Get yes. Get those quarterbacks, baby. Start now. Demand it. Let's do this. <laughs> I want this. Hey, let's go to the Blitz Lounge real quick. We've only got like 30 seconds. Uh, show of hands, Blitz Lounge. Uh, who had a New Year's resolution this year and kept it? Let's see it. 
No. Oh, not so many. No. <laughs> not too many hands up. <laughs> that's that's yeah. Me that's too. Awesome. Hey, my New Year's resolution: uh, Super Bowl, baby. That's it. But out of my own control, I'm running 500 miles. That's in a year. Great cool. that Hey. Take it to them, tighten up, Titans, Texans, this Sunday, then playoffs, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. Tighten up. Let's go.